so I have a special delivery, but first I need to moisturize. This is the best smelling Beretto product. It's the sm scent in suede, and it smells so good. I forgot what it smells like, but a warm floral leather smell, if that makes sense. It's got like the smell of leather. I Obviously, that's why it's called suede, I guess. So, I have a special delivery. This is a birthday present for my partner. I snuck around last week and went to Frankfurt and ordered a ring for him. They didn't have his size in stock, which is why it only arrived now. Let's open it together. I wanted to tell you guys about it before, but he watches some of my videos, so I couldn't do that. It's from Bulgari. Oh, I really want to open it, but I don't want to tie the... It's okay, I think I can figure out how to tie it. I'll show you guys what it is. caught it what the hell so here it is it's the serpenti viper ring is that in focus in rose gold and as you know i do have the yellow gold version so basically it's very similar to the serpenti ring with the head and tail but this is just a simple circle so there's no snake head or tail it's so pretty Perfect size for my thumb actually so here's how it looks that's mine in yellow gold and this is his birthday present in rose gold I love it I think he's going to be so happy I knew that he really liked this ring because he mentioned it to me a few times which is pretty rare for him to ever even say something like that I need to kind of polish it because I have hand cream on so it was really easy this year to buy a birthday present for him. And if you're curious about the price, this is 1,400 euros, I think. So here it is. I'm gonna pack it back up. There we go. So pretty i'm so excited for him to receive it that's all i just wanted to show you guys that it's so cute and i'm gonna wrap it up and it's gonna be a surprise hi guys so i'm in japan i'm severely jet lagged i just got here yesterday at 8 30 in the morning so i have been feeling very sleepy for like the past nine hours but i'm awake and i'm trying to stay awake until after i finish filming so the reason I'm here is because I wanted a redo trip. I was here one month ago and I got sick for half of the time. If you can hear my voice, um, it's very nasally because yeah, I am sick. I got sick three days ago. It's just like a nose cold though, but I think it's just my fate that I get sick every single time I come to Japan. But anyways, I'm here because I wanted to do a redo and also I wanted to pick up the bag that I bought well, my mom bought it for me because I was already on my flight back to Germany and I couldn't go to this um, sale, but she managed to get it for me, so I came to pick it up. And the bag, I will do an unboxing for it because I haven't opened it yet, but it is. Um, well, actually, you can't tell what it is because there's no logos anywhere, but I'll just explain a little bit about how I got the bag for the price I did. So in Japan, there's a really, really popular department store. It's like a luxury department store, similar to like Harrods in the UK, I guess. And it's called Isetang. And back in 1933, like the Meiji era of Japan, which is like chef's kiss era, actually, they started doing this private sale or invite only sale 
for their very loyal and like higher upper class luxury clients where they would show the new collection of waso and kimono which is like traditional japanese fabrics and traditional japanese clothing and the only people who could come shop there were the people who were invited by the department store so it would very often be like very wealthy people or really dedicated and loyal clients and this um, yearly event you know eventually changed into something different and what it is now is people who are really frequent and loyal shoppers at the department store and also have the department store credit card um, if they get invited by the department store to come to this private sale they get an additional three percent cash back um, on any purchase that they make on that day and these clients already get 12 percent back on any purchase at the department store so basically it's 15 percent off if you buy things at this private sale and it's not like a shitty private sale where you can only get like uh, off-season stuff or things that are like not trendy anymore they have an Hermes boutique, they have every single boutique you can think of, Cartier, Bulgari, Van Cleef, Pomelato, Chopard, um, Maison Margiela, Acne Studios, like they have contemporary luxury and classic luxury shops. And my mom wasn't as lucky as some people because out of the clients who are invited to come to this private sale, a portion of them are also given lottery access into the Hermes boutique and these people are basically guaranteed a Birkin or a Kelly or a Constance or a Picotin these are the five most popular bags I would say in Japan and it's like guaranteed like the chances are as high as they will ever be that you can just walk in and buy a Birkin or a Kelly and it's on this day unfortunately my mom wasn't that lucky but she was lucky enough to get me this bag and let me tell you guys how much I paid for it so the retail for this bag is 4,440 euros and I paid 3,080 euros. First of all, it's a bag that you can basically not get online and it's very hard to get it in store. But I paid 3,080 so I'm feeling like I had like a bargain. It's not a cheap bag but it's also not a very expensive bag if you compare it to like some of the other bags I've been able to get in the past year so I'm feeling like I got a really good deal and I'm gonna unbox it now and I know in my previous Margot video when I made a comparison between the Margot 12 and 15 I kind of showed you guys what's gonna fit inside but now that I actually have my own Margot 12 I will show you what I would fit inside it I'm going to Osaka tomorrow to visit my grandma, so I'm going to take this bag with me and I'm going to just go with the things that I pack now. This is the row Margot 12, which means it's 12 inches across on the base. Ingrained leather, obviously in black. If I can get the dust back off. Here it is. I think the 12 is the perfect size. The 15 is a little bit too big for daily carry in my opinion. It does really give you like that really trendy look of an oversized bag. But if you want something that's comfortable to carry and that fits, you know, plenty, the 12 would be the one to go with. So here it is. You can see the grained texture. And something I didn't mention in my previous video is that there is an embossed logo here and here are the side buckles honestly I think I'm going to keep the buckles undone they're not really um, buckled in place right now because I want easy access into my bag and if they're buckled you do kind of get restricted movement the bag does stay closed a bit so here it is and all its glory. It is a bit dusty because it's been sitting here for like a month. And the inside. So here is the shoulder strap. Like I said in my previous video, it's a really simple shoulder strap. There's like only a loop which you put through another loop in the bag. So no hardware or anything. The care card. 
So now you can see the bag fully inside. It is lined in a very light beige canvas, similar to the Loewe canvas that they use for lining their bags. Um, it actually has the same herringbone pattern as the Loewe canvas too. And what I don't love about the bag is the closure. It's this kind of um, hook closure that you put through the D-ring. I'm never going to close it because I don't have time for that. And there's one zipper pocket and two um, insert pockets. So let's pack my bag for going to Osaka tomorrow. I think this bag, because it's so plain, it would look really cute with like an annoyingly cute charm or like something I, you, you're gonna say i'm gonna ruin the bag but i think it's gonna look really cute so i'm going to pack the things that i need to take with me to my grandma's and so first of all it's going to be this it's my jewelry cleaning cloth because i'm insane and if i go a few days without polishing my jewelry i feel like it's dirty and gross, so I need to take this with me. I'm just gonna go right there. I don't. I don't think I'll use an insert for this bag, but I'll have to see if they even make any. And this is a Byredo perfume case. I think. Yeah. In this one, I have the tulip perfume. It really just smells like tulips. It smells really good. I love it. This. If you like um, their Blanche and Gypsy Water and um, Mojave Ghost, you'll also like this one. This one is, of course, a bit more feminine because it is like a tulip scent, but it smells so good. It's not like overly sweet or super like white florally. It's just the right amount of florals for me that like I don't feel like I'm pretending to be more feminine than I am. It just feels really fresh and like nice and it smells amazing actually. So this goes in the insert pocket right there. And this is my Look Charm um, planner. I don't really use it that much honestly. I'm trying to be a planner person but I just keep all my stuff in my phone. But you know when you watch the Vogue What's in My bag videos by the celebrities they're always like oh i'm writing all my ideas in a notebook i need to write it with a notebook and i was like you know what that just sounds really nice like i want to do that i've had this for a few months and i don't have enough plans to put in here but i still carry it and if i have a notebook of course i need a pen this i really recommend i bought this a few days ago from a swedish sorry, not Swedish, Swiss website called Lucreen. And this is a single pen sleeve. Isn't that amazing? We're adults. We don't need a pen case. Like we don't walk around with a book bag and pens, right? So all you need is really one pen when you need to like sign a document or you need to like fill out some form. And you don't want to touch somebody else's pen that's just been sitting there, been used by the public. You should have your own pen and if you have nice bags you need to protect it because you don't want ink to spill in your bag and here's the solution a single pen sleeve it sounds so stupid but i'm i'm here for it mine is in natural brown in an ostrich leather it was like a tad more pricey than the normal leather option but it was still about 110 euros and i love it it's kind of like lined with um, a microfiber inside so it protects your pen as well if you have a nice pen I don't have a nice pen I just have a normal pen also from Lucterm and this is um, just like a normal ballpoint pen like a twisty one because if you have this kind of pen the risk of it opening in your bag is really high I don't think you should do it you should get like a twisty pen or get like a fancy pen from Cartier or Mont Blanc but I just have this cheap one, it was like 20 or 30 euros. And it just also makes you feel like such a sophisticated woman. Like, can you imagine someone asks you, hey, can I borrow a pen? You're like, oh yeah, sure, let me just get out my single pen. I mean, if someone did that in front of me, I'd be like, wow, she has her life together. So that's why I'm going to be using this every day. 
And what I take with me everywhere now also is this. This is a mobile phone stand, a MagSafe one, but it doesn't charge your phone. Do not ever charge your phone using the MagSafe thing because it kills your battery. I know they say it doesn't, but it 100% does. And then I can just use my phone like this. And it's really handy because quite often I'm on my phone when I'm trying to like do something related to, you know, my jewelry or I'm talking to someone, my goldsmith, because I do work remotely with her since I'm not in Japan all the time. It's perfect so I don't have to like lean my phone against like the wall or like a public table when I'm traveling. I can use it on the stand so it's sanitary i can just like wipe the base i don't have to worry about my phone being more disgusting than it is because phones are disgusting can you tell that i'm kind of a germaphobe anyways so this is really amazing it's like a magsafe phone stand it'll go in here and so the next item is my nintendo switch I did buy this in 2020 during the pandemic when everybody was playing Animal Crossing because Animal Crossing is like my childhood nostalgic game. I used to play it on my DS and I did take a hiatus. I wasn't playing um, any games for like two and a half, almost three years, but I started playing on my Switch again really recently, like a week ago, and I've been really enjoying it, so I like to take it with me if I want to just like shut my brain down and do something stupid. So this goes in the bag also. So here it is. You can see like there's so much room in this bag. This thing here, and this is actually not a Tiffany item in here. What I keep in here is my Hermes scarf ring. People say this is useless, but it's actually so handy. So what it is, is it's just a ring where you like kind of pull your scarf through if you have it on your neck and then you tie a knot and it keeps the scarf in place. And it looks really cute as well. So I like to take this with me because I also like to carry a scarf with me. It's really like the perfect climate to have a silk scarf. But yeah, it's so pretty. Now that I have the scarf ring, I find it so much easier to style the scarves and use them, like incorporate them into my outfits. And as you know, I'm not like a super fancy or like overly feminine dresser. I like to be pretty casual. But with the scarf ring, it kind of like helps you really use the scarf like a bandana. So it's not like super feminine either. Mm -hmm. So the scarf also goes in there and then here's another electronic that I take everywhere with me it's my Kindle Oasis I've had this for almost three years and I'm reading um, The Last Devil to Die by Richard Osman it's I think the fourth book in the Thursday Murder Club series I really really love re reading series. I'm usually not a series reader, but um, The Thursday Murder Club is basically about this um, group of retired old men and women in a retirement home who solve crimes in England. And it's hilarious, heartwarming, sometimes sad, but a really light read too. It's not like super difficult to follow. It's actually super easy and casual to read. So I really enjoy this and that goes in there and you can see I still have like half of the bag to fill but now you can understand like why I'm not gonna buckle this because I like to have like the entire bag being fully accessible my Bottega sunglasses these are my all-time favorite sunglasses I actually bought this older model Bottega case because I hate the new case that the sunglasses come in it's like this huge green triangle it doesn't fit in any of my bags so these are my sunglasses. I love them. I think that they look so good. Like they suit any face shape really well and they like totally cover half of your face, which is really cool. So the sunglass case goes in here. And then of course, of course.
course I need this. This is a um, antibacterial hand hand and surface wipe. I 100% need that. So that goes in there. And I have so much more room to put things in. So this I'm taking with me. And as you know, this is um, a Studio Lega jewelry piece. I'm actually giving this to my grandmother. I ordered two. And this one I wanted to give to her. It's actually so pretty. And I wasn't going to make this like a stock piece that anybody could get. But after I ordered two, um, I, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be wearing it like daily as well. So here it is. These are called the Floral Rococo Diamond Studs. And Rococo is kind of like this extravagant old French style of like kind of just excess luxury. And it really reminds me of like vintage pieces from that time. It's a 3.6 millimeter diamond surrounded by 2.6 millimeter diamond halo. Of course, set in 18 karat gold. That's my gold of choice so freaking beautiful when i was like making the piece i was worried it's it was gonna look a bit too mature because it is like a very vintagey style but it looks so good um and even though it's big because it's not like one huge diamond stud it's not like overly formal either and i've been really enjoying it as well so this is actually a gift for her and we're going to be matching got it in rose gold so this I'm taking with me and if you're curious about the pricing I actually posted an updated pricing list on my highlights on the studio Lega account so you can see the pricing for all the stock items and of course if you want anything else um, custom made you just message me and I can give you a price or a quote for that so there's everything and it's still not full it just kind of looks a bit messy because i just stacked everything on top of each other so the next thing that i'm taking with me is my passport this is the goyard passport case and i've got my passport and a bunch of id cards so that goes in there the next thing is my Bottega wallet that my partner gave to me for Valentine's Day. He gave this to me, I think, one, two, three Valentine's Days ago. So three years ago. Still using it. You know, you're actually supposed to change your wallet like almost every year because it keeps the like energy of the money active. So if you have a really old wallet, it's not good and, and it kind of means like you're not going to collect as much money as you could be. It's like a Japanese slash Buddhist slash maybe East Asian belief. So there it is. And I have so much stuff, guys, and it's still not full. So the next thing is my hair comb. This is oops, my Celine hair comb that I talk about really often, but I love it. Um... You know, it's just fancy to have a case for things that you don't need cases for. The pen, the hair comb, when you have a case for it, it just becomes fancy. So that's going to go in with the perfume next to the pen case. And Kleenex, if you don't have Kleenex, what are you doing? The next item is actually my portable charger. I have the iPhone 15 Pro, so now I have like... I had to change all my chargers and cords. This is like the USB-C USB cord charger. So, And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's still not full. So let's keep going. I'm going to take a tiny water bottle that I got on my flight. Vorschlauer, um, just the airplane water bottle. I have a drink from it because I couldn't open it actually. still can't open it. I'm going to take my handkerchief. This is like the, it's more like a towel, a hand towel, I guess. This hand dryer in the bathrooms in public, don't use them. So gross. All the like disgusting germs and stuff like in the air, like being circulated by the dryers and 
for sticking your hand into that. Like, you don't even know if someone, maybe they just, like, wiped their hands to wipe their butt and then started drying it without washing properly. Wipe your hands with your own hand towel to avoid that. Okay. Do I have anything else? I think I literally, I don't have anything else to put in here. Yeah, so that's everything I just squeezed into this bag. Do you see, like, how much stuff is in there? You could still put something on top if you wanted. So, that's everything that fits in this bag. If it were lighter, I would probably use the shoulder straps here, but because it's so heavy, I mean, I think it's like 2 to 3 kilos, I don't think it would be good to use the shoulder straps. And yeah, oh, I forgot one thing actually. Of course, I need my hair claw. This is a Celine hair claw actually that I got from my partner, so... Yeah, that's everything that I would put in this bag. I'm not saying that this is a revolutionary bag. It literally looks like a nanny's bag. It looks like a bolido from Hermes. It looks like any doctor's bag. It's just that all the things combined that Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen have added into this bag make it a really excellent bag in terms of design, in terms of versatility, in terms of quality. And... I guess similar to the Birkin, there are so many brands that have basically just taken the exact same shape and design and concept and slapped their logo on it. And I'm talking about you, Prada, and Miu Miu. The Prada one is actually nefarious, and I am a bit disappointed. Like, Prada has been known to copy designs, as all the brands do, because you can't really reinvent the wheel. It's a bag. It's basically, like, what more can you do, right? But the Prada one is basically, like, they just took this bag, slapped a logo on it. They even have the side buckles. I'll show you what it looks like. But anyways, that's everything that fits in this bag. I'm so happy that I got it, and I'm so happy I got it on sale. I'm going to go to Osaka tomorrow so I'll try to vlog my trip this time around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.